Welcome to the Concept Solutions CS2 video training course, Lessons Learned 100. This course will show you how to view and access lessons learned in CSI. The intended audience is all Concept Solutions employees and subcontractors who have access to CSI. This class is intended for those who have a valid CSI account. After taking this course, you will be able to understand basic navigation and use of the Lessons Learned main page in CSI. During this course, we will log into CSI, access the Lessons Learned main page, and learn how to use the features available on this page. The Concept Solutions Internet, commonly referred to as CSI, is an everyday tool for you and it is important that you are comfortable using all of its features. The first thing you must do is to log into the application. Once you have logged in, access the Lessons Learned module by clicking on the Lessons Learned icon in the Global Horizontal Toolbar on the top right of the home page. The Lessons Learned page is now displayed. The page is divided into two sections. The Filter section, displayed in the top half of the main page, is used to refine a search of the Lessons Learned inventory. The Lessons Learned section, displayed in the bottom half of the main page, displays a list of all lessons learned in a grid view from all projects across the company. First, let's explore the features of the Lessons Learned section. By default, the list of lessons learned is sorted by date, beginning with the most recent. You can refine this sorting using the Sorting button at the bottom of the grid, and by applying filters using one or more of the filtering criteria available in the Filters section in the top half of the main page. The filter section is explained in the follow-on course called Lessons Learned 101. For now, let's take a closer look at the elements that make up a typical Lessons Learned record displayed in the list in the Lessons Learned section of the main page. The ID link in a Lessons Learned record takes you to the Lessons Learned form page containing information unique to each record. You will see the group the Lessons Learned belongs to, the date of occurrence, the team it relates to, its process stage, and the Software Development Lifecycle Type, or SDLC, if applicable. These fields can be used to sort the Lessons Learned records in the Lessons Learned section of the main page. Most importantly, this window allows you to read the full text for the description, root cause, lessons learned, and recommendation for each record. These fields are also searchable, as we'll discuss later. To exit this window and go back to the main Lessons Learned page, click Close. The Lessons Learned section in the main page incorporates two social media feedback features, like and comments. Clicking on the Comments link for a record allows you to enter a comment related to the record through a Comments pop-up box. You can also view other comments in this pop-up box. Clicking on the Like link allows you to like the record, thereby indicating your approval of the Lessons Learned. You can also view the name of other people who have liked the Lessons Learned by clicking on the number in brackets after the word Like. Note, once you have liked an entry, you cannot undo the action. The next piece of functionality in the Lessons Learned section is the ability to sort the records in the grid. The quickest way to do this is to click on the column headers for each column of the grid. This allows you to sort in ascending or descending order by the column whose header you click on. On the Lessons Learned section in the main page, clicking on the triangular icon to the right of the header will toggle the sorting from ascending to descending for this column's data. To order the sequence of columns you want to sort by, click on the sorting button at the bottom of the grid. This sorting button displays the advanced sorting pop-up window. In this window you can select any column in the columns section on your left and use either the plus and minus buttons or drag it into the sorted column section on your right to build the sequence of columns you want to sort by. The entries will be sorted in sequence starting with the column at the top of the list in the sorted column section and proceeding down the list. Once you have created a sorting scheme, click the Apply button to view the results. To cancel the sorting process, click the Cancel button. The last element of functionality in the Lessons Learned window is the ability to adjust the number and width of the columns displayed. Column width is easily adjusted by clicking on any in-column border and dragging it to the left or right. The actual columns displayed can be adjusted by selecting the Columns button at the bottom left of the window. Clicking the Columns button will open the Column Chooser window. From this window, you can select and unselect any of the available columns to add or remove them from the Lessons Learned display. Once you have finished selecting the columns you would like to see, click the Close button to return to the Lessons Learned main page. In this course, you have learned about the Lessons Learned main page, 
and about the utility each field in the Lessons Learned form page. Thank you for attending How to View Lessons Learned on CSTube. Please provide feedback by taking the anonymous course evaluation survey provided at the end of this video through a link. We look forward to having you on another CSTube video training.